Hi there everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, using the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula is a formula which you need to learn these days uh, in order to be able to solve a quadratic equation. Alright, so let's take a look. Alright, so the quadratic formula is used to solve quadratic equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Alright, so it must look like this and it must equal zero at the end. Alright, um, um, but essentially you would only use it if it does not factorise. Alright, if you can factorise it, um, and that's another lesson which you want to probably look at then you know that is one that you'll probably go to first um, but if you're asked to use a quadratic formula it's a very very strong possibility that it's going to be in a calculator paper and you're going to put the numbers into your calculator all right so let's have a look in terms of the formula so what you've got um, is this horrendous little looking b so x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all of it all over 2a all right, so that is something you need to learn and, re and retain and remember. Um, it'll take a bit of practice and a bit of time, um, but no doubt I'm sure you'll eventually kind of crack it. All right, so the values of A, B, and C, so the ones that are in, in the formula here, all come from these three numbers. And again, I have to stress that it must be in this format and it must equal zero. All right, if it's not looking like that, then you're going to get it wrong. All right, so let's have a look at an example. So you'll be asked to solve, potentially, or find a solution of, uh, a quadratic way, so it's x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0, and then this normally gives it away that is to three decimal places, all right, so that means you, you're almost certainly using a calculator to do this, all right, so I've got to identify what our a, b, and c are to go into this formula. So a is the value of our x squared, so you'll notice there's no number here, um, but of course there is, there is an x squared, there is one x squared there, all right, so it's a 1, so a is 1, b is the value here which is plus five and the c is there which is plus two and I, the reason i mentioned the plus um because the second example we're going to look at is when it's a negative but ultimately here we are both positive so it's not a problem all right so we're now going to plug these numbers um which i've just mentioned here into this all right so you've got minus b that's the final value of five plus or minus b squared minus four a c all over two a all right, so I've just put all the kind of numbers in there, um, like so, okay? Now, you're now going to use a calculator. The only issue with it is, is, is this, all right? It's a plus or minus, because what you're going to get with any quadratic is, is potentially going to get two solutions. You're going to find two values, all right? Sometimes the solutions, of when you're looking at something like this, is called a root, um, but we, because we've got a plus or minus, we're going to do two calculations, one with a plus in it, and then one with a minus in it. And that's going to give us two answers. Okay, so um, just simplifying this lot over here. So you've got 25 minus 8, which is going to give you root 17. Um, and then you've got minus 5 still there and a, and a 2 there. So just simplified that a little bit. So you're going to do minus 5 plus root 17 divided by 2. And then you do minus 5 minus root 17 divided by 2. And it's going to give you these two values from your calculator. And again, rounding them to three decimal places as instructed. All right. And that's pretty much it. All right. So you've got to learn this. You know, you've got to learn this. You kind of practice it and get familiar with it. Uh, and there, and you just very, very carefully put the numbers into your calculator. Right. We'll look at one more. Um, but it's the same formula. Like that's not going to change. Um, but I'm going to put some different numbers in here so you can see where potentially errors may occur, which you need to be aware of and be careful of. All right, so looking at the values of A, B, and C, all right, and it does equal zero, so we're okay. My value of A is two. My value of B is minus three, all right, because it's a negative. And my value of C is minus one, all right. So writing those three down um, is a, a, a worthwhile step, A, B, and C. And again, keep your eye very, very closely on these negatives because it's going to make a big impact when I put them into here. Right, so in your calculator, it's going to be minus B. All right, and notice that I put this into a bracket. Um, and if you don't know sure why I put it in a bracket, it's because it's a double negative making it actually positive. But of course, you don't have to think about that with your calculator. You can just put it in a bracket. All right, so if you if it makes you feel com more comfortable in terms of doing a double negative, and I suggest that you do, is you put it in a bracket. All right, anything with a negative, if you're using a calculator, suggestion is you put it in a bracket. All right, so minus minus three, plus or minus the square root of minus three squared, so in a bracket, and four times two times 
minus 1 in a bracket. So you'll see that I've put anything that's a negative in a bracket over 2 times 2. All right. Um, it's just simplifying that a little bit. So I've now got double negative gives me 3. Um, and then minus 3 squared is minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9, which is where the 9's come from. And then 4 times 2 times minus 1 is minus 8. But of course, of the minus, it's going to be plus 8, which is why I've got the plus, which gives you this. And then just simplifying the 9 and 8, which is going to give you these two numbers. And then you're going to do 3 plus root 17 over 4, and then 3 minus root 17 for those two separate calculations, giving you those two values. All right. So just to kind of summarize the quadratic formula, you can see it there. Um, minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 c all over 2a. That's going to give you um, your solutions. And of course, from your question, um, you then need to come make sure you get your a, b, and c correctly placed into your calculator. All right. There is a bunch of practice on the maths-school.co.uk website. Obviously, there's a link at the bottom as normal. Um, but please do practice and get familiar with it um, because I, can, I can't imagine um, an entire three GCC papers and not testing it somewhere along the line. All right, good luck. Thanks for listening.